Nebraska is recognized for one minute. There's a vigorous debate about the anthropologic impact on our climate, and I believe uh, that we do have an obligation to reduce CO2 if we can. But this must be balanced with an equal obligation to have our constituents uh, to treat them in a manner that preserves our nation's economic competitiveness. Advocates for the cap and trade bill state that it will not significantly increase economic burdens on our constituents. This is just not true. The cap and tax bill also contains renewable electric standard and other elements which will significantly increase costs to utilities and consumers. The Omaha Public Power District in my district conducted an independent analysis of the costs to my constituents, free of political interference like the one put out by the EPA. Even with the free allowances and, uh, allocated under the waxman markey cap and tax bill, Nebraskans will have to suffer a $74 million bill in 2012 and, in, and increase to $410 million a year by 2030 in the most optimistic case. Vote against this bill. Gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman from California.